welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be upgrading my home lab Proxmox from 6.1-8 to 6.2 which was just released on the 12th. I was going to upgrade my lab Proxmox anyways and I thought I would just record this video and it might help someone somewhere. So let's get started. As we can see here that my Proxmox environment is 6.1-8. I'm already SSH'd into my Proxmox here. So what we will do is we'll go to the aptsources.list.d directory. Here we have two .list files. One is the PVE Enterprise and then the other is the PVE No Subscription. I am not using the Enterprise version. So if we look at the enterprise.list, I have that. So I'm going to have to comment that out so that we don't pull anything off of the enterprise list. Go here and comment that out. Now I'm going to make sure that I have the right repos in here. Okay, I don't. So what I will do is this seems to be updated like every time you run an upgrade. So it's a good idea to double check whenever you are about to upgrade to your Proxmox. So now I'll put in here dev and then HTTPS uh, enterprise. Uh, nope, not the enterprise version. We're going to do the download.proxmox.com slash Debian slash PVE. And then we're going to do the buster. Uh, PVE dash no dash subscription. So that's how that looks. That is for the Proxmox itself. But if we go up a directory here, we have the sources dot list as well. Here we have three um, URLs. Um, so we have the Buster main contrib, we have Buster updates main contrib, and then we have Buster slash updates main contrib, which is for the security update. So that looks good. What we will do is we will save this. And in order to ensure that the APT, the package manager, has the latest index and whatnot, we'll just run the APT update. So it'll download all the information here. No longer has a release file, blah, blah, blah. Where it's configured multiple times. Okay, let's see what happened here. Sources.list.d, PVE Enterprise. Ooh. Oh, looks like we may have configured it twice. Uh, enterprise and the no subscription list. Yep, exactly. So we'll go ahead and PVE. I thought we did comment out, but. I may have mistaken this. All right, so we'll go ahead and update again. I hope it's able to talk to the internet. Actually, try to see while it's doing that. Let me just double check if it's able to talk to the internet. Google.com seems to be working fine. So, okay. So it did download or update the um, packages information. So now it says the 45 packages can be upgraded. And so what we'll do is we could do apt list and then dash dash upgradable, but all we have to really do is, or uh, let's just go ahead and do that upgradable. So it shows you what pack packages are you know available for the upgrade. But what we will do here is we will do the apt update, which we already did. So now what we're going to do is dist upgrade. So we are going to upgrade the distribution. So if you want it, you could just do like apt update and, and so that way, you know, you ran both the commands in the same um, line. Okay, so it says, all right, 
downloading the packages and it will apply the upgrade. We will have to reboot. And in order to reboot, we do have to make sure that there is no virtual machines running. Um, so what I will actually do is I do have a PF sense running here. So actually what I will do is I will shut that thing down. Go to the console here. Oops, let me do the web console. I don't have the spice thing here. Um, I'm thinking I will do a video tutorial series on how to build your own home lab uh, with Proxmox and stuff. So that will be coming shortly. Let me see if I can get the power off here. Okay. Fifty-three percent. Uh, I wish it was like a little in the mid screen, but it's at the bottom. So I'm working on building my own personal home lab for you know um, security research and ethical hacking and whatnot. So I'm thinking I will um, start doing videos as I build my lab and do a series on how to start and you know build your home network. So for example, my Proxmox right now it does have a Proxmox box here and then it has a PFSense that kind of acts as your router, DHCP server, DNS uh, for the lab network. And I have three uh, different types of networks. One is the uh, bridge network that bridges to my LAN, which I barely used in my lab. Um, the second one is the um, NAT network. So the lab network can have internet, but it's going to be on a different subnet. And then the third option, third network type I have is the host only network or the lab only network. It does not have access to the internet or the network outside the lab. Okay, sounds like the installation has been completed. So I am just going to reboot this box here. Um, reboot. All right, while that's going on, let's just ping the box in prox02. prox01 actually dot not dot home. Also, if you noticed here, um, I do have a valid certificate here, right? So I, I, what I normally do in my home infrastructure is that I create my own home CA and then I can issue any certificates. Um, well, let me step back a little. Um, I do create my own home CA and then I import the CA cert into all my devices. That way, you know, I can then sign any certificates with that CA and all those certs are then valid in my network or across the devices where I have the CA imported. So kind of makes it nicer to have the valid cert um, instead of like having to accept the risk every single time. And I do have a script for that in my GitLab. So if you are interested, GitLab on my thank you to Oops, GitHub. Okay, so if you go here, uh, I have a thing called local C. Yeah, there's the script that does create the CA and then you can create the cert. Okay. I can create a separate video on that if you all are interested. Uh, let me see. Uh, so it's back up. Sounds like it is back up. And let's reload the web interface. And as you can see there, we do have the Proxmox 6.2. So that's all for the upgrade. It wasn't it wasn't really any anything fancy, but I still wanted to just record this in case someone wanted to like see the process and then, you know, ensure that there wasn't any issues with the upgrade or I did not run into any problems so that you can probably upgrade yours with confidence. All right, that's all for this video. I will see you guys soon in the next video. Thank you for watching.